What is good, y'all, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. As you guys can see, we are already in the Stang on the road and getting ready to go ahead and get this video started. Now, as you guys see by the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be talking about the plans for this car. Like, what am I going to do with this car? Am I keeping it stuck? Am I building it for the track? Am I building it for the street? Am I building it to be a show car am i even keeping the car for that long like what are my plans you know i know a lot of you guys want to know a lot of you guys are excited um for the build to go ahead and get started i've already done some minor modifications just some tasteful things you know the gloss black on the wheels with the um side marker uh tinted out i guess the side marker blackout you know what i'm saying just so the car will look a little bit more menacing with that all black on black look you guys already know how it goes it's a classic man you can't go wrong with the black on black you just can't you know for at least phase well the beginning of phase one this is not even really phase one but you know the beginning of phase one so as you guys want to know man what am i going to do with this car like am i keeping this car hold on wait we got a tunnel it's quiet but y'all gonna hear it she got she got a little bit of rumble to her but like like i say it's nothing crazy bro um if you guys haven't seen the video of basically when i put the car up in the air for the first time um i took a look underneath it to see you know how the bottom end of this car was looking the undercarriage and honestly i was really surprised to see how clean it was and also this car has a flow master axle back on it which really threw me off because i really thought the car was stock and that just goes to show you know what i mean what you're getting with flow masters flow masters when you think of flow masters you're thinking like you know old school muscle car you're thinking like you know what i mean it's loud when you get on it but super quiet at idle you can barely hear it but you still got that nice v8 rumble to it that's that's what i think when i think flow masters and you guys that are part of the J.I. squad and have been here for a while, been sticking in, uh, staying tuned to every video. Y'all know me, man. I am not the kind of guy to have the quiet car in the group. You know what I mean? My car has always been one of the loudest, if not the loudest car in the group. You know what I'm saying? Um, and with that being said, I think the first like actual performance modification I'm gonna end up doing is an exhaust system. Um, honestly, my plan for this car is to really take it to the track, man. I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone, as I've been telling y'all, um, by getting in this car. You guys know, I'm a Chevy dude. I've had Camaros, um, back-to-back, -back, and I've loved them, literally, every second of them. Um, and I'm definitely gonna get back in the Camaro. However, with that being said, you know what I'm saying, this car is a manual. And it's also a couple pounds, a couple hundred pounds lighter than the Marrow was. So, you know what I mean? It's like, I might as well take it to the track, you know, see what it could do, get used to driving a stick car. And then, you know, after, oh, we got a Hellcat right there. After, you know, figuring, see, this is the shit I be talking about. This is the dumb shit I be talking about, bro. Dumb as hell, bro. Drivers in Houston are so stupid. Everything I love, like, bro, it's not hard. How you come from all the way on the left-hand side and get in my lane in the far, no, all the way on the right-hand side and get in the far left-hand lane and think that's okay. What? Like, come on now. Like I was saying, bro, with this car, I really want to, you know, get out of my comfort zone. It is a six-speed manual. I've never been to the drag strip in a manual car. So I'm, you know, going to be having a couple of firsts with this car. You know, it's my first Mustang, my first manual daily driver. Um, and now it's going to be my first, you know, car to take down the drag strip 
that's a manual, you know, and really try to see if I can hunt down these 60 foot times, these quarter mile times, all of that, you know what I mean? I definitely want to get into this uh, stick shift realm, and I feel like ain't no better car to do it in than a Mustang, you know what I mean? It's definitely, it's lighter than the, uh, it's lighter than the Mero, like I said, and it's a manual, so it's definitely going to be a fun platform to get started with. Um, as far as like the first like beginning mods that I'll probably be doing what you guys can look forward to um, It's definitely gonna be an exhaust because as you guys heard earlier these Flowmaster mufflers man. They definitely do their job at being mufflers. You know what I'm saying? It, they I Mean it, if you want like a quiet tone and have like a nice little rumble you should definitely like what the f Hey, like I was saying, if you want a quiet tone with a little bit of baby rumble, then yeah, man, be my guest, get you some Flowmasters. But if you want that car to be loud like myself, then go ahead and go with a different setup because I ain't even gonna lie to Flowmasters. They're cool, you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, they sound good, but they're also quiet as hell. Um, at idle, uh, cruising speeds, definitely quiet as hell. Um, I wish they were a little bit louder. You know, your boy had to get that young chop. How to chop? Look at man, I gotta get my hair redid. But you know, I got to, gotta have that young chop, man. Growing a beard out, y'all. I ain't even peep. You know what I mean? I, I'm growing a beard out, trying to see if I can get it to connect. You know what I mean? You know, and Ji, man, I'm trying to do a whole bunch of new things, man. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone and a lot of things, man. I'm in a Mustang, man. I own a Mustang now, you know. Uh, but yeah, man. Things to look forward to with this car. Definitely look for a whole bunch of track day videos. Definitely look for this car to be full Boton and on E85, which kind of sucks because Costco, the goats, <laughs> they don't have E85, man. So that's gonna be a little issue. I might be running flex fuel. Look for, you know, full Botons, really. Just honestly, full Boton car. And then further down the line, I definitely do wanna boost this car. I wanna go ahead and throw a Pro Charger on it. We're gonna see what company I go with um, when that time comes. But as of right now, where my head is at is just intake manifold, cold air intake, full exhaust, E85, tune, a nice little drag setup, you know, maybe some uh, R888s back there. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, upgraded interior, most likely, well, no, not most likely, more than likely, the seats will be here um, very, very soon. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and tackle this disgustingness and also this plain janeness right here and then this regular degular mook and i mean it's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff coming for this car you guys just stay tuned with the kid i am literally moving this week um so y'all stay tuned for that because your boy has a very big surprise for you guys um with this move so with that being said man y'all stay tuned for that um it's actually probably gonna wrap it up for this video, man. I know I didn't go into details about exactly what I'm gonna be putting on the car, what mods I'm gonna be going with. Y'all already know how I rock. I gotta give y'all little pieces. You know, you gotta make it come back. You gotta come back and see the kid. You feel me? You gotta come back to see the kid. It's that simple. So, with that being said, I'm gonna leave you guys on this little cliffhanger. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. Give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section down below. Without further ado, man, that's gonna be it for this one. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.